In this session, we will learn about volume. As you can see that we have three containers. Now the first container having length of 10 cm and breadth of 10 cm and height is also 10 cm. Such type of container is called as cube. Many call it as squared prism. If we pour water into the first container, so first of all, it will spread on the bottom surface and the bottom surface is squared. So it will occupy the area of square that is 10 cm into 10 cm. If we fill this container with water at the height of 10 cm, then the total poured water in this container will be the area of base into the height of the container that is also 10 cm and it will give us 1000 cm cube or 1000 cubic cm. Now you can see that if we add more water to this container then it will spread out of the container. That means the maximum capacity of this container is 1000 cubic cm only and the capacity of any three dimensional container is called as the volume of that particular container. But water or any kind of liquid most of the times measured in terms of liters and 1000 centimeter cube equals 1 liters. That means we can say that the volume of a cubical container having 10 centimeter of length is 1000 centimeter cube or 1 liter. Now let's try to write the general form of equation for the volume of any kind of cubical shape. So if a cubical container is having length L centimeter, then the area of base will be squared and we can write it as L squared and height is also L. So we just multiply the area of base that is L square into the height L and it will give us L cubed. So the general form of volume of a cube is L cubed unit cubed. Let's try to pour water in the second container which has length of 10 cm, breadth 15 cm and height 20 cm. If you look at this shape then all the dimensions are of different lengths whereas in the first case they all were same. So if any of the dimension is different then such kind of shape is called as cuboid and many call it as rectangular prism. So can you tell me how much volume of water this container can have? The total poured water is the area of base that is 10 cm into 15 cm into the height of the container that is 20 cm and it will give us 3000 cm cube. So we can say that the volume of this shape is 3000 cm cubed or 3 liters. So let's try to generalize it. Let's take length as L, breadth as B and height as H. Because all the dimensions are different, so we are using different alphabets. The bottom surface is rectangular, so the area of rectangle is L into B. By multiplying the area of base into the height that is H, we will get the volume of cuboid. So the volume of cuboid in general terms is L into B into H unit cubed. We can notice one thing that in such uniform shapes by just multiplying the area of base into height we get the volume. And now we are having one more three dimensional shape a right circular cylinder. If you look at the base of the right circular cylinder then the base is circular and the area of any circle with radius r is pi r squared. So if we multiply the area of circle to the height, then we will get the volume of a right circular cylinder. So first of all, we will write the general expression for the volume of a right circular cylinder and then we will solve a problem on this. Let's take radius r unit and height h unit. So accordingly, area of base will be pi r squared unit squared into h unit and the volume of cylinder will be pi r squared h unit cube. So let's solve a problem on this. Suppose a right circular cylinder having radius r 5 cm and height of 20 cm. Then what would be the volume of this cylinder? 
So by applying formula, we get 1570 centimeter cubed, or we can say that 1.57 liters. So far, we learn about the volume of cube, cuboid, and cylinder. These were the standard shapes, but some of the times we can have uneven shapes like this. So can we find out the volume of this? This three-dimensional shape is having length 10 cm, breadth 8 cm, and in this case there are two heights. One is 4 cm and another one is 6 cm. And we have to find out volume of this shape. How to go about it? First of all, we have to break it into two parts and we will find volume of each part separately and then add them up to get the volume of original shape. After separating out at the height of 4 cm, we got two shapes. So let's start with the bottom part, which is a cuboid with length 10 cm, breadth 8 cm and height 4 cm. So its volume will be 320 cm cube. Now let's go for the above part. If you notice this shape, we can take it as half of some cuboid with length 10 cm, breadth 8 cm, now remaining height is 2 cm. Let's find volume of this cuboid and divide it into half so that we will get volume of the upper part. So the volume of cuboid is that is 10 cm into 8 cm into 2 cm and it will give us 160 cm cubed. So therefore half of this will be 80 cm cube which is the volume of the upper part. So therefore the total volume of this shape will be 320 cm cube plus 80 cm cube and total we will get 400 cm cubed that is 0.4 liters. The complete course for grade 10th CBSE Math is available in pen drive and SD card format. Click on the link to buy now. To know more, you may also check the description box below.